So, hi, Karina from the AU Review, Hello. having a chat with Julius and Pilu about yeah. Overlord. Yes. So, yeah, checked it out and thought the movie was amazing. Absolute n- knuckle, like, gripping, just really intense, crazy. It's a bit of a war movie, bit of a horror movie. So, for you guys, was that, like, part of the appeal coming into this movie? Yeah, absolutely. I, um, you know... It's 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 great when you can surprise an audience. You know what I mean. I, that's that's how I um, get entertained when I go to a movie. I feel like I, I come out with a few surprises. And we didn't want to do your uh, um, you know uh, when I read the script. Uh, you know, JJ gave it to me and said, you know, check it out. I, I when I first read it, it was completely bonkers. It was like uh, Indiana Jones on acid. And and uh, I um I I I was like, this is completely. Um, out there it's got outlandish things like there's lots of supernatural fantastical things and you know intense horror and action but um, underneath there's a heart you know and so I just wanted to um, help nurture that and and have the the the, the, the characters um, grow and um, in a sense that we want to love them and you know JJ always talks about getting the audience to lean in and 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 I think you do that by investing in your characters and and loving them before you you throw them into hell um because if you don't care about them then all the the bullets and the the explosions they're all for naught uh um you know so because you don't feel any jeopardy yeah true and so you're talking about the characters and talking about that that heart of the film the characters in the movie they do really feel genuine and they feel like people that you know you can relate to whether they're good or bad yes so you know was that something that like for you particularly Pilo, was that you know an appeal going in because that character does feel like quite fleshed out and realistic you, you, but you never know that before you make a film mm-hmm. you know when you when you start making a film you go all in and you jump out out of a plane without a wire, without anything, without a parachute, because you have faith in this guy and in this script, but you never know how it's going to end, you know? Um, So for me, the most important thing is, do I trust the filmmaker? In this case, I did it. Uh, Was the script 100% there? No, but I know with Julius, he's an open director where we can discuss. I would always, always only discuss my own character. It's not the the storyline or anything, but just my character storyline. And I think we got to a place where we actually played around with the with, with, with the character and the cliches and him being a little bit more three-dimensional than a typical evil Nazi super soldier monster. Mm, mm-hmm. <laughs> it sounds far out, but it's yeah. it's based in something realistic. Yeah. That you need to play this real. Mm. You don't play the genre, you play the reality. And you've mentioned before that you're quite a fan of playing antagonist characters and villainous yeah. characters. Were there dark aspects of this character that you wanted to sort of explore and bring to the front? I, there's, I think I stepped, I stepped over the line several times on, <laughs> on what you were allowed to do on camera and with your f- colleagues. Mm-hmm. Um, but because Julius created a very safe environment, very safe place where we, the actors, could work together and trust each other and be generous with each other. Mm-hmm. Um, I, 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 felt, I felt like I could give everything yeah. and, and be 100%, 100% supported of the, of, the, of the film and sure. my friends.